Over the last several decades, Tasmania's seen about a 95% loss of giant kelp forests, these, these dense forests with big surface canopies that are home to many, many other species. So it was in fact the first marine community type to be listed under the Federal, federal uh, EPBC Act uh, as an endangered marine community in Australia. So the project is really asking the question, is there any chance of restoring these important giant kelp forests? So what we're about to do is to go and sample some of the uh, remaining kelps that look in quite fine condition, so they're probably genotypes that are tolerant of warm water, and to see if we can select for warm tolerant individuals uh, that we can then outplant and get moving in the marine environment in a way that will enable that, those regenerated kelp patches to, um, to be self-recruiting and to grow of their own accord. So we don't know what the answer to that question will be yet. So really we think about it as a, as a pilot that is answering the question, is it going to be possible to restore these magnificent kelp forests? What drove the decline in the first place? The primary driver of the decline in giant kelp uh, has been warming of the water and that reflects that the East Australian current has changed its behaviour over the last four to five decades and now eastern Tasmania is much more influenced by East Australian current water than previously. So it's much warmer than previous but also East Australian current water is nutrient poor. So with the combination of warm water which which the kelps are sensitive to, and highly depleted uh, nutrients, uh, that has seen really the demise of these extensive, uh, rich, dense uh, kelp forests in eastern Tasmania.